so hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you welcome back once again to another session of pib 247 in today's session guys we are going to talk about the pib news from 1st and 2nd of december 2022 and i hope you guys are all set for the class all right so let's begin with the session without any delay and let's move ahead to the very first question very very important question okay i believe ki aapke exam mein zarur aana chahiye right so the question is as per the special bulletin in mmr maternal mortality in india 2018-20 released by registrar general of india mmr of india has declined from 130 per lakh birth in 2014 to 16 to how much per lakh live births in 2018 to 20 very very important question aur ek bahut badi remarkable achievement bhi hai india ki taraf se and that is why it is very very important all right so as for the special bulletin on MMR, the maternal mortality ratio of India has declined from 130 per lakh live births in the year 2014-16 to 97 per lakh live births in the year 2018-20. And with this, we have achieved the targets of national health policy, which was less than 100 per lakh live births. And I hope you all know uh, maternal mortality ratio. It is maternal deaths maternal deaths per 1 lakh live birth right per 1 lakh live birth jitni maternal deaths hoti hai, that is known as what maternal mortality ratio all right and now we have achieved the national health policy target right but we have our eyes on the target of sustainable development goal which is target 3.1 and as for that target we have to reduce mmr to less than 70 per lakh live birth by the year 2030 and the pace with which we are moving on we are going definitely going to achieve this target all right now there are eight states in india eight states aise bhi hamare desh mein jinhone sdg ka target achieve kar liya hai these are kerala which have very less mmr of just 19 maharashtra telangana andhra pradesh tamil nadu jharkhand gujarat and karnataka so these are eight states in india which have achieved the target even of the sustainable development target they have achieved all right and it is a very you know a big achievement for all of us aur pure desh ne national health policy ka target achieve kar liya hai if i talk about the mmr so congratulations to all and tayar rahe is a question ke liye examination mein. all right so coming back to the question it is now 97 in the year 2018 20 it was 97 per lakh live birth mmr all right so i hope guys this question is clear moving ahead to question number two identify the incorrect statement about mission karmi yogi which is national program for civil service capacity building now this program remember guys was launched in the year 2020 and as the name suggests it is a program to build the capacity of the civil servants now it is in news because some approach paper was launched which is not important for us what is important for us is the mission karma yogi right the basic objective of mission karma yogi is to enhance the governance through civil service capacity building that is the objective and it was launched in the year 2020 there are six pillars of this mission which are policy framework institutional framework competency framework digital learning framework which is i got karma yogi then we have electronic hrms and monitoring and evaluation framework so this mission karma yogi works is working on the uh, on the basis of these six pillars right and remember the nodal agency to implement mission karma yogi is public human resource council and the most important thing is that phrc is headed by the prime minister of india right prime minister ne directly isko apne control mein rakha hai and these are other implementing organizations which are capacity building commission with there is a special purpose vehicle also for owning and operating the digital assets and providing the technological platform for implementation for effective implementation of this mission right and there is a coordination unit which is headed by cabinet secretary which is currently uh, mr rajiv gaba right so that is all about mission karma yogi and let's identify the incorrect statement. It was launched in 2020, correct? It has six pillars to enhance governance through civil service capacity building. Absolutely right. PHRC under the chairmanship of cabinet secretary. No, PHRC is headed by prime minister of India. Right? So this statement is incorrect, which means option C is the correct answer. I hope guys, this question is clear. Moving ahead to question number three, which is again a very important question. National single window system portal is a single platform to enable the identification and obtaining of approvals and clearances needed by investors, entrepreneurs and business houses in India. In which year it was launched by DPIIT, right? So you just have to tell the launch year. 
but the question is why it is in use because it has uh, currently started the uh, accepting the applications for 248 government to business clearances which is not important for us what is important for us is the national single window system portal right so let's talk about it remember it is a national single window system which means koi ek aisi cheez hogi jiska approval ya fir clearances yahan pe milta hoga aur wo ek cheez kaun si hai that one thing is related to the information of investors the approvals needed by the investors or the entrepreneurs or the business houses in the country right any kind of approval and clearances which are needed by the investors which are needed by the entrepreneurs which are needed by the business houses in the country they can have all kind of approvals and clearances from this national single window system portal right it is being implemented or you can say it is uh, being uh, you know it was launched it it was developed by dpirt which works under the ministry of commerce and industry and it was launched last year in the year 2021 all right now these are some of the detailed objectives of course when i uh, i would have uh, you know the process of clearances jo hai agar bahut aasan ho jayega then of course it will reduce the duplicity of information submission it will reduce the compliance burden it will promote the sector specific reforms and schemes it will reduce the gestation period of projects jo ki unnecessary latke rehte to wo bahut jaldi unko clearances milenge approvals milenge aur jaldi se kaam start hoga and it, it will definitely promote the ease of doing business all right and there is a know your approval approval module in this portal which guides investor to identify approvals which are required for their business there are various cases when the investors and the entrepreneurs do not know which all approvals they they uh, they need to start their business or to invest anywhere so it will also provide the investors all the information regarding the approvals that they need for their business all right so that is all guys about uh, this news and now let's come back to the question it was launched in the year 2021 option d is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 4 is it question number 4 oh yes question number 4 pe aa jate hain all right you have to identify incorrect statement about community innovator fellowship which was launched this year only 2022 by niti aayog atal innovation mission so let's talk about it so now it is in news because the atal innovation mission under niti aayog has launched the applications for this fellowship now under this fellowship basically what happens is that uh, niti aayog through atal innovation mission will provide the required infrastructure the required infrastructure the required knowledge the required entrepreneur skills to the community innovator so that they can come up with their social entrepreneurship right jo unka idea hai social entrepreneurship ka उस आइडिया को कन्वर्ट करने के लिए नीति आयोग थ्रू अटल इनोवेशन मिशन विल प्रोवाइड द रिक्वायर्ड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर द रिक्वायर्ड स्किल्स राइट एंड या दैट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव टू क्रिएट अ कंड्यूसिव एनवायरनमेंट वेयर नॉलेज मेंटरशिप कम्युनिटी इमर्शन एंड इंक्लूजन कैन प्रोस्पर थ्रू एडिक्वेट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड फंडिंग राइट इट वॉज लॉन्च बाय अटल इनोवेशन मिशन अंडर नीति आयोग इन कोलाबोरेशन विद यूनाइटेड नेशन डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम इंडिया चैप्टर राइट लॉन्च इयर दो हजार बाईस इसी साल एंड जो फेलोशिप का ड्यूरेशन है दैट इज वन ईयर द फेलोशिप विल बी प्रोवाइडेड फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ वन ईयर एंड द ब्यूटिफुल थिंग अबाउट डेट इज दैट एनी एस्पायरिंग कम्युनिटी इन इनोवेटर रिगार्डलेस ऑफ हिज इनकम क्राइटेरिया रिगार्डलेस ऑफ हिज एजुकेशन क्राइटेरिया एनी एस्पायरिंग कम्युनिटी इनोवेटर कैन अप्लाई इर रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ देयर सोशल इकोनॉमिक बैकग्राउंड राइट it will provide them with an opportunity to establish their own social enterprises which is focused on sdg based solutions right the more focus will be on the sdg based solutions right because ab 2030 bahut jaldi aa jayega 8 saal hai i know but 8 saal kaise beetenge pata nahi chalega right aaj aap 21 22 saal plus ho chuke hain aapko pata hi nahi chala right so similarly 8 saal beetne mein time nahi lagega and during the course of this fellowship each fellow will be hosted at atal community innovation center which are being constructed which are being established by niti aayog only all right so that is all guys about this news and let's identify the incorrect statements it was launched in 2022 by atal innovation mission niti aayog in collaboration with world bank world bank is not there undp is there it is a two year long intensive fellowship program no it is a one year intensive fellowship program any aspiring community innovator can apply yes 
ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ दिस फेलोशिप ईच फेलो विल बी होस्टेड एट ए सी आई सी अटल कम्युनिटी इनोवेटर सेंटर येस एंड फॉर दिस फेलोशिप डी पी आई टी विल बी सेटिंग अप इज दैट सो डी पी आई टी विल बी सेटिंग अप नो ए सी आई सी विल बी सेटअप अक्रॉस द कंट्री बाय दी नीति आयोग राइट एंड देर फॉर द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी वॉट वन टू एंड फाइव ऑप्शन डी आई होप गाइज दिस क्वेश्चन इज क्लियर मूविंग अहेड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव Ministry of Civil Aviation headed by Jyoti Raditya Sindhya has launched Digi Yatra at three airports to achieve contactless seamless processing of passengers at airports based on facial recognition technology which of the following are among the three airports where this Digi Yatra project has been launched right guys this is a very very important project uh, of the Ministry of Civil Aviation and it is in news because this project has been launched for uh, three airports which are New Delhi Varanasi and Bangalore and uh, remember the basic essence the basic objective of this uh, project is to achieve the contactless seamless processing of passengers at airports dekho kya hai ki bar bar apna thumbprint dena ya signature karna ya bar bar apne boarding pass dikhana wo sab cheeze ab khatam kar di jayengi jo bhi processing hogi passengers ki it will all be contactless it will all be seamless and with the on the basis of facial recognition technology all right Now this project is being implemented by Digi Yatra Foundation, which is a Section 8 not-for-profit company under Companies Act of 2013. And in the first phase, Digi Yatra project has been launched in these three airports: Delhi, Bangalore, and Varanasi. And in the second phase, uh, uh, it will in the first phase only by March 2023, it will be launched in another four airports, which are Hyderabad, Kolkata, Pune, and Vijayawada. All right. So in first phase, seven airports, seven airports are there. all right and as i told you it is a project which is which has been conceived to achieve the contactless seamless processing of passengers based on facial recognition technology all right and which are these three airports these are new delhi banaras and bangalore 1 3 and 5 will be the correct answer option d moving ahead guys to question number 6 where was vayu the vital life force conference recently organized by ministry of environment forest and climate change headed by bhupendra yadav So let's talk about this Vayu conference. So it was held in Bhubaneswar, and Bhubaneswar, of course, is in Odisha. And this conference was organized to discuss the need of clean air in the country. Right? जो हमारे देश में साफ हवा की जरूरत है, उसके वो discuss करने के लिए and to attract the the stakeholders to work towards these areas. ये जो Vayu conference है, इसको organize किया गया था. It was organized by Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, and It took place under the National Clean Air Program, right? National Clean Air Program के अंदर इसको ऑर्गेनाइज किया गया था. Now talking about NCAP, which is National Clean Air Program, so the objective, of course, is to improve the air quality. Now how the uh, how the air quality will be improved by reducing PM 2.5 and PM 10 concentrations by 20 to 30 percent by the year 2024. Those are 24 तक हमें इसका टारगेट अचीव करना है and the base year. From which we will compare the 2024 air quality is the year 2017, right? It is being implemented in non-attainment cities. Now, what is this non-attainment cities? Non-attainment cities are those where national ambient air quality standard is exceeded for five consecutive years. यानि जहाँ पे जो air quality का जो पैमाना है वो पांच साल से खरा नहीं उतर रहा है, right? Coverage it is it is being implemented in 132 cities and it was launched in the year 2019 ministry of course is ministry of environment forest and climate change and there are city specific action plans under this ncap for all the 132 cities based on the requirement of the cities right and these plans are being implemented to achieve the targets under ncap right and there is a pran portal which helps in reporting and monitoring of physical and financial progress of these city specific action plans all right guys i hope this is also clear and now let's come back to the question so this conference took place in bhubaneswar option d is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 7 which is about the manthan platform which has recently awarded the nseit best tech initiative of the year award at the dun and bradstreet business excellence award 2022 so you have to identify the correct statement about this manthan platform so let's talk about it So it is in news. Question is very clear, because it has won the NSEIT Best Tech Initiative Award 
uh, at the Dun and Brad Street Business Excellence Awards 2022. Right now, talking about this monthly platform, what is it? It basically, uh, you know, connect the researchers and the business houses. It is a platform which can connect researchers and the business houses, and thereby empowering various stakeholders to scale up the interactions with research. Researchers or innovators. It was launched on fifteenth August two thousand and twenty-two. This year only, the implementing agency is Office of the Principal Scientific Advisor to the Government of India, which is currently Ajay Kumar Sood. Principal Scientific Advisor, who is he? Ajay Kumar Sood. Hai. All right. So that is all. Yeah, it's not here. Okay. So let's identify the correct statement. It promotes collaboration between industry and the scientific research and development ecosystem. Correct. it empowers multiple stakeholders to collaborate for creating solutions aligned with sdgs and national scientific mission this is also correct it was launched on 15th august 2022 ye bhi sahi hai its development was conceptualized and is implemented by niti aayog it is not niti aayog it is it is office of psa to the india to the government of india so 1 2 and 3 are correct uh statements which means option d is the correct answer again moving ahead to question number 8 which is about the horticulture cluster development program so there was a meeting which took place uh, to check uh, you know the implementation of this uh, program kaise implement ho raha hai kitna kitna achievement hai so usi liye ye news mein hai that is why we are discussing about it so the overall objective if i tell you so you can identify the name from the name itself so horticulture clusters are being developed under this program now what is the meaning of horticulture like when we grow vegetable when we grow fruits when we grow flowers it is known as horticulture right and horticulture clusters are being developed under this program to give a boost to the horticulture value chain in the country right so these are the detailed objectives you can read from the this from the pdf so to address the concerns of the horticulture value chain to reduce the harvest and post harvest losses to facilitate the introduction of innovative technologies in the horticulture area and to build the capacity of stakeholders which are working in the horticulture area all right it was launched last year 2021 by ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare headed by ns tomar narendra singh tomar and nodal agency for implementing this is national horticulture board and it is a central sector scheme and central sector scheme is that which is uh under which 100% funding is provided by the central government only right and total 55 horticulture clusters have been identified but in the pilot phase it is being implemented in 12 clusters all right and based on the success of these 12 clusters it will be implemented in all the 55 clusters across the country so that is all and now let's identify the incorrect statement it was launched by ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare in 2021 correct it is being implemented as a component of centrally sponsored scheme no it is being implemented as a component of central sector scheme which means option b will be the correct answer let's move ahead to question number 9 then where was the second sustainable agricultural summit and awards organized by fikki right so it is a very direct question guys no need to go into the details it took place in new delhi option c is the correct answer the capital of india Where was twenty fourth National Oil Spill Disaster Contingency Plan, right, to reduce the oil spill accidents uh, in the seas and the oceans, and preparedness meeting held, right? So it took place in Chennai, option D, and it was organized by Indian Coast Guard. All right. Question number eleven: With which country India has signed agreement for economic development cooperation uh, fund loan of rupees this one four nine five point six eight crores? No need to remember the amount. for establishment of intelligent transport system on nagpur mumbai super communication expressway project it is an important question because with this country generally bahut zyada loan sign nahi hote hain and the country in question guys is south korea option e is the correct answer and the last question for today where was the first regional workshop on development of sustainable and responsible tourist destination held it was organized by ministry of tourism of course headed by g kishan reddy in collaboration with united nation uh, environment program and responsible society tourism responsible society of tourism in india right rsti and it took place in khajuraho in madhya pradesh option d again is the correct answer 
all right guys so that's it for today's session and yes if you want to have the pdf of this session you can join the telegram channel the link is provided in the description right so milte hain fir agle session mein on wednesday till then keep uh, studying and studying hard because rbi grade b 2023 is now around the corner so please don't lose out the time aur padhte raho aur aage badhte raho milte hain goodbye take care and god bless